Welcome to the 9th Future Fabrics Expo. Sustainability is not enough anymore. We really need to move in uh, what we call regenerative design so that we can actually repair the damage we've done. Well, when I look at all of the different innovations and solutions around me here, I'm, I'm just amazed and actually blown away at what's possible. My hope is that the fashion industry starts to be the real connector with people around the excitement in sustainability, the excitement in innovation, and the way in which we can reduce our impact. For 2020, we're really looking forward to the future of materials. So in the next few years, we're going to be seeing very cool material developments actually coming to market. 2030 is an important date, important year. By that time, we should have really reduced our CO2 emissions, trying to stay under the limit of one and a half degrees warming. It's essential that we're hitting that target, and the materials that we are showing here are all produced with that in mind. We all wear clothes. We dress every single day and it's across the globe. So it's something that unites us. Um, and I think we have to think before we buy. And I think we have to challenge what we buy and how we buy. It's really important to really look at the people behind your products. Knowing where fabrics come from, how they're made, and what happens to them at end of life, the people putting the collections together and the consumers need to be constantly asking these questions. The future is green chemistry. The future is not toxic. We can't afford that anymore. All toxic material needs to go. We have to leave it behind us. In the next 10 years, we need to find replacements for every single ingredient, every substance we depend on by designing and making our products with a good alternative. Let's not put materials and products out there that could not end up in nature. Let's focus on creating in things that actually don't hurt.